Mouthwash. It has alcohol in it, so let's try distilling it. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Do you think this is fit for consumption? No. <laughs> How's it going, Chasers? I hope you're having a kick-ass week. I'm Jesse, this is Still It, and we are back with another episode of Meme Spirits. Today, I am going to be distilling mouthwash. The stuff has alcohol in it. Well, the old school stuff all had alcohol in it, I think, uh, and some of it still has alcohol in it, like this, the uh, Listerine Fresh Burst. Ooh. <laughs> uh, we're gonna try distilling this today. I'm gonna pop it into a pot still, uh, distill it, and see what comes out the other end. One bottle in there already. These are one litre bottles, actually. So we're doing two litres in total. Uh, and I don't know exactly what ABV these are, but uh, from a quick little search on the Google machine, it looks like they're probably gonna be about 10% ABV. The plan is to double distill this, double pot still, and just see what happens. <laughs> it's gonna be a pretty tiny run by the time we get to the end, with only two liters at 10% ABV, but uh, let's fire it up and see how it goes, shall we? So what am I expecting to get from this? I don't know. <laughs> There's obviously a bunch of other stuff uh, in the Listerine that's not just alcohol and flavoring. Uh, I could look into it, but honestly, for the purposes of this discussion, I don't care a whole lot. <laughs> why, why do I do this? Why do I do the meme speed spirits? Well, for one, sometimes it's fun just to do something that's a little bit more tongue in cheek as a distiller, but also for the YouTube channel. Uh, but in my mind, this is actually in some ways kind of a serious tool for me as a distiller. Um, the, the, the gamut, the, the variety of flavors that can come out of distilled spirits, especially once you age them and blend them, is just astronomical. Like I guarantee, I guarantee someone out there has picked up a whiskey or a, a agave based product or something, tasted it and said, huh, I'm getting hints of Listerine in this. I guarantee it. So running it like this means that um, I get to figure out what crazy flavors from the wash <laughs> carry through distillation and at which point in the distillation they come over. If, however, you're just here for the fun of it, that's totally cool. There's a whole playlist down in the description below of just meme spirit stuff. So if you're into that, uh, you can rock through it. Anyway, um, let's just hang out and wait for this to come up to temperature, shall we? All right, team, it's time to show you the sponsor of today's video, Into the AM. They make these dope shirts. Uh, this is a collaboration between Chase the Craft and Into the AM. I think you can tell by the subject matter. The other shirt that I'm wearing all throughout this video is the original collaboration between Chase the Craft and Into the AM. And yes, these plain black shirts that I wear all the time, Into the AM. I love these things, they're comfortable, they're long wearing, they're just great t-shirts and they have a sale on at the moment. So there's links in the description down below. I'll put the link for both uh, the new shirt and the original shirt. And if it's something you're into, now is a great time to go buy one. All right, back to the uh, Listerine madness. <laughs> so we're up and running with the stripping run uh, and let me have a sniff. Woo! Yep, okay. <laughs> that smells like Listerine. This is gonna be interesting, uh, but Long time distillers and viewers to the channel will know that this is a stripping run, so I'm not making cuts, I'm not doing anything, I'm not making any decisions about the spirit at the moment, uh, or trying to keep certain things and get rid of other certain things. I'm just running it through to cut down on volume, raise the ABV, uh, so we can have a more precise, more clean stripping run, which will be the next one that comes through. So the stuff going into this pot right now we call low wines, that's a result of the stripping run. Uh, and when this is finished, we'll empty the pot out, get rid of all the stuff that we don't want anymore, pop the low wines back into the pot, uh, and run it again. And that's when we'll, when we'll do all the cuts. This episode could be kind of misconstrued or taken out of context, or people could take it the wrong way. This channel is not, not, not about getting drunk for cheap. That is a, like, we are all about chasing the craft of home distillation, and that's what I'm doing here. Yes, it's a little bit of fun. Yes, it's meme But like I said earlier on, it does have a legitimate reason that I'm doing it to make me a better distiller. Don't drink mouthwash. 
<laughs> it's a bad idea. Now there are some studies I, I had to look at really quickly uh, and it seems like probably the worst thing that's gonna happen to you if you drink mouthwash over an extended period of time is the effects of the ethanol itself. But uh, other places do say that some mouthwash companies will denature their alcohol so they don't have to pay the liquor tax on it. Denaturing alcohol is basically just putting something nasty in it so people won't want to drink it. Um, that could be methanol. We don't like methanol. Methanol is terrible. Let's be upfront about this. It will mess you up. You, yes, you can 100% go blind from drinking methanol. Yes, you will kill yourself if you drink too much of it. So let's put that on the table. Don't drink methanol. This isn't about getting drunk for cheap. If you have this equipment and you watch this channel, you'll be able to uh, make really high quality spirits for a whole lot cheaper than what I'm doing here. That's ridiculous. I paid like 30 bucks for that mouthwash. <laughs> All right, we've put that safety thing on the table. Let's play devil's advocate just a little bit because I think there is this perception out there, especially for the, the average person walking down the street. Oh my gosh, you're making spirits at home. You're gonna go blind and you're gonna kill people. You hear that, right? Um, no, not really. <laughs> Do you drink beer? Do you drink wine? Do you drink mead? Uh, all of those things are gonna have methanol in them at some degree. Do you drink orange juice for crying out down the sink? That's got it in it as well. Um, no one stresses out about it for those things because it is at a tiny little concentration. And we as distillers have the ability to make cuts, which means we can take a bunch of the nasty stuff out, like acetone as well. That stuff will give you a nasty hangover. We don't want to drink it, so we cut it out. Now, yes, you can't get rid of all of it, right? So it is going to be more likely to come over in the heads, but it will smear through the entire run. Distillation is not a good way to take a denatured alcohol and drink it. It's silly, don't do it, all right? But at the end of the day, if you're gonna drink beer, if you're gonna drink wine, all of those things, a distilled spirit with proper cuts is gonna be a whole lot better. All right, we are done with this run. Let me move this over so I don't knock it over. I have a tendency to do that. <laughs> can pop the top on this. Interesting. That actually smells. Whoa. So this tastes sweet and minty. Like, I don't know, like um, like any mint confectionery. That's really interesting. This on the other hand. Yeah, okay, so this is what I think of Listerine as. The harshness, the like real sort of piercing spear mintiness, not like that sweet peppermintness. And it has a, it has a bitter astringent flavor to it that I've never really cognizantly thought of in mouthwash. But I wonder if they do that on purpose so people don't drink it, because it's not pleasant. <laughs> it's not, you know, it's not a nice flavor. Anyway, let me empty this out and uh, I'll be back. Huh, crazy. All right, pot is empty. Low ones go back in. Yeah, there's not a lot of that, is there? <laughs> it's just gonna be a wincy run, a wee run. And we can fire this bad boy up again. Here's my, here it is. Power cable, and on. We have taken a pretty decent amount off the top here. Now, I'm gonna call this kinda like four shots and mostly heads. We'll see how this cleans up in a second. This is about as much quote unquote four shots as I would normally take for like a pretty big batch, like a, I don't know, like a 60 liter batch, maybe even a hundred liter batch to be honest. Uh, so we're just gonna get rid of that. We're not gonna use it. We're gonna get ditch it for all the reasons we mentioned before, uh, but I'm still not really gonna, gonna trust this. I'm just being overly cautious because this is YouTube. <laughs> And, to be honest, um, I'm not gonna drink this. <laughs> I'll taste it for you, I'll taste it for you and tell you what's going on, uh, but probably not gonna drink it. All right, let's have a little taste. Oh, actually, that did clean up a little bit again. Okay. Yep, all right, I'm gonna keep this for comparison's sake, but uh, I think this is what I'm gonna be keeping now. My hearts, if you want to call it that, if we can even call it that on this run. Uh, so here, here's my guess, guys. My guess is that this is basically like 
just lab grade ethanol, commercial ethanol, thrown in here. So I don't think we're gonna hit anything weird for tails. I think we're just gonna, it's gonna be like doing a gin run, right? Uh, maybe the flavors that we're getting coming off with the alcohol are gonna drop off a little bit. Um, the ABV obviously will drop quickly near the end, uh, but I don't think we're gonna hit any like nasty, tailsy flavors. Uh, for those of you that haven't been watching this channel or you know aren't, aren't used to distilling, if you're making something from grain, the tails will probably go kind of like wet cardboard, wet dog, even kind of gym socky near the tails. Um, if you're doing like a reflux run and you're making more of a neutral style spirit, you know, making vodka, uh, to me it's almost like cementy in the tails all of a sudden. I don't think we're gonna get either of that, but uh, we'll see. To be honest with you, uh, it's all pretty much tasted similar throughout the run, but it has, it has changed somewhat. Significant, definitely significantly enough to be able to taste the difference between different parts of the run. At the top, it was more minty, um, like a more approachable mint flavor to me. Then it went through a weird, like it was more, more of that bitter astringent thing that I can't, the flavor's familiar to me, but I can't quite pick it. Uh, and now it's going back more towards just kind of stray spearmint. Uh, so I think we're getting near-ish the end of the run. Um, honestly, it's hard for me to tell. Like normally I can taste something off the still and say, you know, have a, have a rough idea of the ABV. That I don't know because the flavors are so freaking strong. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a small sample here. Let me get that out of the way. This is saying that we're at 79% ABV still. So I have a hunch that that mouthwash is a whole lot stronger than 10% ABV. So I'll run it out and just follow the flavor wave for you guys. Uh, but let me ditch this, hold on. All right team, we are down, uh, well we're under 45%, I know that. I don't know exactly what we're at now. Um, it's tasting very similar, but that I, I can't pick it, man. The, the flavor and the smell is so nostalgic to me. It reminds me of my childhood. It's like bitter, astringent, spicy mint. I, I, I'm i sorry guys, I'm, I'm pulling a blank here, which is lucky because I'm gonna stop this. In fact, I'll turn it off right now. Uh, I'm gonna proof this down to drinkable ABV and uh, we're gonna wait for the super taster to turn up. That's Erin, my wife. Now. Fair point here, guys. Her raw tasting ability is off the charts better than mine. Her uh, ability to describe those flavors, not so much. So it's always fun to taste things with Erin. <laughs> so this <laughs> is distilled Listerine. <laughs> uh, and I will warn you, you probably, won't, probably don't want to take large sips of this. I feel very, possibly the most hesitant I've ever felt. To be real, me too. <laughs> <laughs> ever? <laughs> there's a flavor in there that I can't pick. Like there's something real nostalgic to me about it. it. Smells like straight up Listerine. It smells like concentrated Listerine to me. There is, there's some like lolly that's like Yeah, that. right? Some, yeah, there is something. Mm. All right, I'm scared. <laughs> oh. <laughs> just tastes like concentrated Listerine, eh? It's like it's just drinking Listerine. Yeah. I don't think I've ever actually drank Listerine. Like swallowed a little bit of it. Well, no, you're not supposed to, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> Wait, are you? <laughs> no, I'm just saying you, that you could blind test the Listerine and the... Um... There's a dreg for you. Eating bugs. And yeah. some dregs for me. Do you want a spit bucket? <laughs> Open it up. <laughs> Cheers. Uh, I would prefer this. This is like this, but concentrated, right? <laughs> yes. It's so much worse. And this is kind of sweet. Like the real Listerine yeah. is kind of sweet. This really is like all the sweetness is taken out of it. 
Sorbitol, isn't that sugar? I got it. It's eucalyptus. Uh -huh. It's like drinking Vicks. Yeah, maybe it is Vicks. It's totally like drinking Vicks. Mm -hmm. is, is Vicks an American thing as well, or is that just Kiwi? Yeah. It is? Yeah, it's like drinking Vicks. Vapor rub. Uh, eucalyptol flavor? Yeah. Is that eucalyptus? Yeah. yeah, surely. Okay, that's what it is. That's what I've been trying to get this whole mm -hmm. time. <laughs> you just needed me to sit here. I did, yeah. I would straight up rather drink this. Don't drink mouthwash, guys. I'm glad okay. I did this experiment, but um, <laughs> don't drink mouthwash. <laughs> This is when you get demonetized or something. <laughs> <laughs> All right, team, so this has been fun, but I need to say a huge, huge thank you to the Patreons. I'm gonna disappear behind the Patreons and Erin can point at them while I say thank you very... Oh. You point at the Patreons, Erin. <laughs> uh, thank you very much, guys. Uh, we thoroughly, thoroughly appreciate it. And if any of you others that are watching the videos are finding uh, value in them, maybe not in this video. <laughs> That my mind should not say that after this video. Uh, there's a link down there. If you want to join up to Patreon, you totally can. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, the verdict. The worst thing I've ever made on the channel? Oh, definitely. 100%, right? Yes. Yeah, it's not great. Yeah, uh, but definitely. it was interesting. It was very interesting. <laughs> that eucalyptus flavor carries over. It's close to being bitter. It's close to being astringent. But it's neither. And normally those flavors don't make it through distillation so well. This got mm -hmm. concentrated. Uh, so do you no, think this is... I don't want any more. <laughs> do you think this is fit for consumption? No. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed, guys. Uh, keep on chasing, and I'll see you next time.